Designing a SQL Server 2008 database solution. Hi, my name is Don Jones, and I'm going to be walking you through the complex and exciting tasks, techniques, and technologies that all exist around designing database solutions for SQL Server 2008. We'll start with this brief little introduction where we'll sort of outline the agenda, cover all the different things that we'll be looking at. In the next nugget, we'll start by looking at SQL Server components. Uh, we'll talk about the database engine, the distributed transaction coordinator, SQL Server browser, all the different components that make up SQL Server. Then we'll talk about relational database basics. Uh, just kind of get ourselves on the same page with some terminology and make sure that you're ready to start diving in and designing a database model. And that's where we'll also be able to talk about um, how to actually construct the database model in SQL Server and so forth. In the nugget right after that, we'll talk about a new feature of the .NET Framework version 3.5 that's supported by SQL Server 2008 and Visual Studio 2008, which is called the Entity Framework. It's a way of sort of abstracting your Visual Studio project code from the underlying database schema. In Nugget 6, we'll talk about designing application security, always something that's very important to keep in mind. And in 7, we'll talk about designing a full text search strategy. Uh, so if you've got a database application that's going to need to use full text search, you'll kind of know the, the terminology and the techniques and the right decisions to make. Speaking of making decisions, in Nugget 8, we'll look at selecting the right data type. Uh, we'll not only look at some of the existing data types that SQL Server's had for a long time, We'll also look at some of the data types that have gone away or are deprecated in SQL Server 2008, and we'll look at some of the new data types in SQL Server 2008 and talk about all the times when it's right to use those for a particular task. In Nugget 9, we'll start designing tables, and that's where we'll also get into the idea of normalization, breaking your data down so that you have a minimum amount of data redundancy, but still good for performance. And then in Nugget 10, we'll start talking about designing programming constructs, whether it be stored procedures or types or user-defined functions or triggers. And we'll also talk about the difference between T-SQL constructs and .NET Framework Common Language Runtime constructs. Once we've done that, we can start talking about designing T-SQL programming constructs. That's where we'll get a little bit more specific about stored procedures and user-defined functions and so forth. Now, designing common language runtime constructs is outside of the scope of what this series of nuggets is going to cover. We're just going to stick with what's right in the T-SQL language. After that, we'll talk about designing views and then move on to some special programming concerns. And a lot of the focus here is going to be on security of your application. Uh, always something that's important. So we're going to talk about some, some ways that people can really work around security. Not exactly back doors, but definitely more subtle security concerns than just making sure the right permissions are on the right objects. Now in Nugget 14, we'll talk about designing a transaction and concurrency solution or strategy. Uh, ways to make sure that even when multiple people are trying to access your data at the same time, that the overall application still performs well. Now, SQL Server 2008 has got a ton of new features for XML, so Nugget 15 will be a good place to talk about designing an XML strategy and how to make best use of those features. Optimization starts in Nugget 16, and that's where we're going to talk about understanding query optimization. And once we've kind of gotten the basics and the under-the-hood information out of the way, in Nugget 17, we'll move on to designing optimized queries, and then in 18, designing optimized indexes. Now, those things all sort of help us build toward Nugget 19, Scalable Database Solutions. That's why we'll learn all the different techniques that SQL offers to build database solutions that can grow to nearly infinite size if you need to. And finally, in Nugget 20, we'll wrap up with designing database performance strategies, uh, ways to keep your database performing really well, resolving problems, uh, designing partitioning strategies to improve performance, designing compression strategies, stuff like that. So if you're ready, let's get started. Thank you.